In this video we will demonstrate how Ocean Optics products can be used to perform a fluorescence measurement. We will use products available in our fluorescence bundle. The equipment used was the Flame S Viz NIR spectrometer, two premium UV Viz fibres, each is 25 cm long and has a fibre diameter of 600 microns. The LLS high power LED light source with an output at 365 nanometers. This series of narrow band LED sources are ideal for fluorescent measurements. The CUV cuvette holder with four collimators and a cuvette cover to prevent external light from getting in. And a pack of eight UV plastic cuvettes for use in the wavelength range of 220 to 900 nanometers. A diffuse reflectance standard for use as a reference when taking fluorescent measurements. And finally, two mirrored screw plugs that can be attached to the cuvette holder to maximise the amount of fluorescent signal reaching your spectrometer. The Flame S Viz NIR is a powerful spectrometer in the palm of your hand. Its high sensitivity allows you to capture low intensity signals. With the set of interchangeable SMA connectors of varying slit sizes included in the fluorescence bundle, the flame is even more versatile, allowing you to find the best balance between maximising signal strength and high resolution. Using your CUV cuvette holder, you can replace two of the 74 UV lenses with the two mirrored screw plugs provided, which reflect light back through the sample in order to enhance the fluorescent signal. Now attach the two fibres to the remaining SMA connectors at 90 degrees to each other. Connect the other end of one fibre to your spectrometer and of the other fibre to your light source. The CVD diffuse reflectance standard can be inserted into the cuvette holder with the diagonal surface facing towards the two fibres in order to take a reference. Now you are ready to connect your spectrometer to OceanView software to begin collecting data. Look for additional videos demonstrating how to perform fluorescence measurements using OceanView. To find out what else you can do using an ocean optics spectrometer, visit www.oceanoptics.com.